The 11 members of staff who were caught on camera abusing severely disabled patients during an undercover BBC Panorama investigation at a South Gloucestershire private hospital are being sentenced this morning. The staff have admitted 38 charges of either neglect or ill treatment between them. Our correspondent Andrew Plant joins us now from Bristol Crown Court. Uh, Andrew, it, it was a shocking uh, panorama. They admitted uh, to uh, the, the charges that were brought uh, against them, but we understand that during this case, uh, many of the barristers uh, have asked uh, for the inevitable prison sentences to be suspended. That's right, yeah. We're not quite sure what sentences will be handed down here. We were expecting some to come through uh, around about now, but we're just being told there will be a delay of around about an hour, and I suppose that is to be expected when there are so many charges involved. Uh, 38 in total, 34 of those of ill treatment and four uh, of willful neglect. So the sentencing here today will be uh, a collective one of 11 uh, former members of staff from Winterbourne View. Now, Winterbourne View was a care home which opened here in Bristol uh, in 2006, it had room for 26 patients with uh, severe learning disabilities. These charges uh, relate to the ill treatment and neglect of five of those uh, patients. And incidentally, they were charging up to £3,500 a week uh, to look after those patients. Now, uh, a former nurse from the care home uh, came to the BBC after having his concerns uh, ignored by the owners of the care home, Castlebeck. Uh, limited went to the BBC as a whistleblower at the end of 2010 and at the beginning of 2011 the BBC's Panorama program put in an undercover reporter who went into the home for five weeks between February and March 2011 and secretly recorded uh, what he saw taking place there and what he revealed as you say uh, was deeply distressing there were uh, incidences of uh, people being slapped uh, physical uh, restraint, people using a chair to pin people to the floor. One woman uh, was soaked with a glass of water, sprayed in the shower and then left outside in the cold. Uh, painful restraint techniques, there was taunting, hair pulling, eye gouging and verbal abuse. So uh, 11 people here today facing uh, different numbers of charges. The most uh, prolific offender, Wayne Rogers, who's 32 and from Bristol, facing nine counts of ill treatment and we're told uh, the maximum sentence he could face is up to five years in prison. Uh, now prosecuting this case over the last uh, week or so, Kerry Barker said the culture of the hospital uh, was one of bored, unstimulated patients and staff uh, where the use of illegal physical restraints was commonplace. He said restraint was used to inflict pain, to humiliate patients and bully them into compliance and patients who threatened to complain were again bullied into silence. So that sentencing here delayed for an hour or so. We're expecting a short statement from the owners, the former owners of the care home, which was closed just last year, Castlebeck, to happen. Afterwards, we'll uh, bring you those sentences as soon as they come through. Uh, and Andrew, uh, yes, we will be back uh, to you uh, for, for that. Uh, but also, this is a case that also shone uh, a light on the failures of health regulators as well, and police and, and social services. That's right, yeah. Um, it's really uh, shaken up the industry, I think it would be fair to say. The Care Quality Commission, the independent uh, regulator of uh, social and health services, uh, said afterwards that they had changed their policy, particularly on whistleblowers, on people who come forward to say that they have uh, witnessed some form of mistreatment within the, within the industry. And that is uh, something that this case really shone a spotlight on, because that nurse who uh, had already complained to the industry regulator, had taken concerns as well to Castlebeck Limited uh, about what they were seeing uh, within Winterbourne View, uh, effectively, he said, had uh, his concerns ignored. And that is something the Care Quality Commission uh, has decided was unacceptable, and that has led to a change in policy about the way people who raise concerns over this type of thing are dealt with. OK, Andrew, we are hearing that, uh, that that hearing is due to start soon, so we will be back to you at Bristol Crown Court uh, as soon as there's any news. For, for now, Andrew, thank you.